Hello everyone, welcome to Rough Book. In this video, let us see the formulas in DC machines. I have also made a video on formulas and definitions in DC circuits and electromagnetism. You can check those videos in this channel. I have made a separate playlist called Basic Electrical Engineering. Let's start. Number 1. Induced EMF in the conductor. So, whenever a conductor is moved in a magnetic field such that it cuts across lines of flux, dynamically induced EMF is produced in it according to Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. So, therefore, the magnitude of this induced EMF in the conductor is given by the equation E is equal to BLV sin theta, where B is the magnetic flux density, L is the length of the portion of the conductor within the magnetic field, V is the velocity of the conductor, theta is the angle between direction of movement of the conductor and the direction of magnetic flux. Number 2. Force. According to Fleming's left hand rule, when we hold thumb, forefinger and second finger of the left hand in such a way that they are at right angles to each other, then the forefinger represents the direction of magnetic field and the second finger the direction of current and the thumb represents the direction of force. The magnitude of this force is given by F is equal to BIL. The unit of force is nothing but newtons, where B is the field strength in Teslas, which is nothing but Weber's per meter square. I is the current flowing through the conductor in amperes. L is the length of the conductor in meters. Number 3. Pitch of a winding. Pitch of a winding is the distance around the armature between two successive conductors which are connected together. For lap winding, y is equal to yb minus yf as shown in the figure. For wave winding, y is equal to yb plus yf. For average pitch, ya is equal to yb plus yf whole divided by 2, where yf is the front pitch, which is the length of the front end of the armature connection measured in terms of number of armature conductors. yb is the back pitch which is the distance measured in terms of armature conductors that a coil advances at the back of the armature. Number 4. DC generator generated EMF. This is when the DC generator is on load. The figure is the symbolic representation of the DC generator with its armature and field windings. So the generated EMF that is EG is given as V plus IARA plus ARD plus BCD where V is the terminal voltage, IARA is the armature resistance drop, ARD is the armature reaction drop, BCD is the brush contact resistance drop. Number 5. Separately excited DC generator. When the field coil is excited by an independent external source of DC voltage, as shown in the figure, then the generator is called a separately excited DC generator. Armature current that is IA is equal to IL in amps. Terminal voltage is equal to generated EMF minus armature resistance drop minus armature reaction drop minus brush contact resistance drop in volts. Power developed that is P is equal to EG into IA in watts. Power delivered to the load is equal to EG into IA minus IA square into R in watts. Number 6. Self-excited DC shunt generator. In this type of generator, the field windings are connected across or connected in parallel with the armature winding so that the full voltage of the generator is applied across them. Armature current that is IA is equal to IL plus ISH. Here ISH is the shunt field current which is given by V by RSH. Here RSH is the resistance of the field winding. The terminal voltage that is V is equal to EG that is generated EMF minus 
आर्मेचर रेजिस्टेंस ड्रॉप माइनस आर्मेचर रिएक्शन ड्रॉप माइनस ब्रश कॉन्टैक्ट रेजिस्टेंस ड्रॉप दिस इज इन वोल्ट पावर डेवलप्ड दैट इज पी इज इक्वल टू ई जी इन टू आई ए इन वैथ्स पावर गिवन टू द लोड इज इक्वल टू वी आई एल इन वैथ्स नंबर सेवन सेल्फ एक्साइटेड टी सी सीरीज जनरेटर इन दिस जनरेटर द फील्ड वाइंडिंग इज कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज विद द आर्मेचर कंडक्टर्स आर्मेचर करेंट दैट इज आई ए इज इक्वल टू आई एल विच इज इक्वल टू आई एस सी विच इज इक्वल टू आई हियर आई एस सी इज द करेंट थ्रू द सीरीज फील्ड वाइंडिंग टर्मिनल वोल्टेज वी इज इक्वल टू जनरेटेड ई एम एफ माइनस आई इन टू आर ए प्लस आर एस ई विच इज माइनस आर्मेचर रिएक्शन ड्रॉप माइनस ब्रश कॉन्टैक्ट रेजिस्टेंस ड्रॉप विच इज इन वोल्ट पावर डेवलप्ड दट इज पी इज इक्वल टू ई जी इन टू आई ए इन वैट्स पावर डेलीवर टू द लोड इज इक्वल टू ई जी इन टू आई ए माइनस आई स्क्वेर इन टू आर ए प्लस आर एस सी डी सी कॉम्पाउंड जनरेटर अ डी सी कॉम्पाउंड जनरेटर कंटेंट्स बोथ शंट फील्ड वाइंडिंग एंड सीरीज फील्ड वाइंडिंग वेन वी टॉक अबाउट क्यूमुलेटिवली कॉम्पाउंड डी सी जनरेटर इफ द टू फील्ड वाइंडिंग्स आर कनेक्टेड इन सच अ वे दट द फ्लक्स प्रोड्यूस्ड बाई दम आर इन द सेम डायरेक्शन एंड द रिजल्टेड फ्लक्स इज द अडिशन ऑफ द टू देन द जनरेटर इज सेट टू बी क्यूमुलेटिवली कॉम्पाउंडेड वेन वी टॉक अबाउट डिफरेंशली कॉम्पाउंडेड डी सी जनरेटर वेन द फील्ड वाइंडिंग्स आर कनेक्टेड इन सच अ वे दट द flux produced by them are in opposite direction and the resulted flux is the difference between the two then the generator is said to be differentially compounded dc generator as you can see in the cumulatively compounded dc generator the total flux is equal to uh, the flux produced by the shunt field winding plus the flux produced by the series field winding whereas in differentially compounded dc generator the total flux is equal to the flux produced by the shunt field winding minus the flux produced by the series field winding 8a longshunt dc compound generator depending on how the series field winding is connected to the shunt field winding we have longshunt compound generator and short shunt compound generator so this connection tells that this is a longshunt dc compound generator where the series field current that is isc is equal to ia which is equal to ish plus il shunt field current ish is equal to v divided by rsh terminal voltage v is equal to generated emf minus ia into ra plus rc minus armature reaction drop minus brush contact resistance drop in volts power developed p is equal to eg into i in watts power delivered to the load is equal to v into il in watts 8b short shunt dc compound generator depending on how the series field winding is connect to the, connected to the shunt field winding we can say this is a short shunt dc compound generator as shown in the figure so series field current is given as isc is equal to il shunt field current ish is equal to v plus il rse whole divided by rsh and armature current ia is equal to il plus ish the terminal voltage that is v is equal to eg generated emf minus ia ra minus il rse minus armature reaction drop minus brush contact resistance drop in volts power developed that is p is equal to eg ia power delivered to the load is equal to v il in watts number 9 emf equation of dc generator which is given by eg is equal to phi zn whole divided by 60 into p by a in volts where a is equal to 2 for simplex wave winding and a is equal to p for simplex lap winding 
z is equal to number of slots multiplied to number of conductors per slot where phi is the flux per pole in webbers z is the total number armature conductors or coil sides on armature n is the rotational speed of armature in revolutions per minute that is rpm p is the number of generator poles a is the number of parallel paths in the armature and e is the emf induced in parallel path in armature number 10 back emf in a dc motor when the armature of the dc shunt motor starts rotating dynamically induced emf is produced in the armature conductor the direction of this induced emf opposes the applied voltage this induced emf is known as back emf that is eb so it is given by eb is equal to phi z and whole divided by 60 into p by a in volts where phi is flux per pole in webbers z is the total number armature conductors or coil sides on armature a is the number of parallel paths in armature p is the number of generator poles n is the rotational speed of armature in revolution per minute number 11 dc shunt motors depending upon how the field winding is placed in relation to the armature dc motors are of three types shunt motors series motors and compound motors dc shunt motors the voltage equation of a motor is given by v is equal to eb plus ia ra where v is applied voltage eb is the back emf ia is the armature current ra is the armature circuit resistance number 12 dc series motor in a series wound motor the field winding is connected in series with the armature as shown in the figure the voltage equation is given by v is equal to eb plus ia into ra plus rse where v is applied voltage eb is the back emf ra is the armature resistance and rse is the series field resistance number 13 dc compound motor a dc compound motor has a shunt field winding and a series field winding if the fluxes produced by shunt field winding and the flux produced by series field winding are in the same direction and are additive then the motor is said to be cumulatively compounded if the two fluxes oppose each other then the motor is said to be differentially compounded so therefore cumulatively compounded the total flux phi is equal to phi sh plus phi sc where in differentially compounded total flux is equal to phi sh minus phi sc 13a long shunt dc compound motor depending on the way in which the two field windings are connected the compound motors can be either long shunt or short shunt from the figure we can say this is a long shunt dc compound motor where armature current ia is equal to i minus ish shunt field current ish is equal to v by rsh back emf eb is equal to v minus ia into ra plus rsc 13b short shunt dc compound motor from the figure we can say this is a short shunt dc compound motor where armature current ia is equal to i minus ish shunt field current that is ish is equal to v minus i into rse whole divided by rsh back emf eb is equal to v minus i rse minus ia ra in volts number 14 torque the measure of causing the rotation of a wheel or the turning or twisting moment of a force about an axis is called the torque. So it is given by T is equal to F into R in Newton meters where F is the force and R is the distance or radius in meters. Number 15 armature torque the equation is given by 
टी ए इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट वन फाइव नाइन फाइव जेड आई ए इंटू पी बाई ए इन न्यूटन मीटर वेर टी ए इज इक्वल टू टॉर्क डेवलप बाय मोटर आर्मेचर फाइव इज द फ्लक्स पर पोल इन वेबस जेड इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ आर्मेचर कंडक्टर्स और कॉइल साइट्स ऑन आर्मेचर पी इज द नंबर ऑफ जनरेटर पोल्स ए इज द नंबर ऑफ पैरल पार्थ इन द आर्मेचर आई ए इज द आर्मेचर करेक्ट नंबर सिक्सटीन शैफ्ट टॉर्क द टॉर्क विच इज अवेलेबल एट द मोटर शैफ्ट फॉर डूइंग यूजफुल वर्क इज कॉल्ड शैफ्ट टॉर्क द इक्वेशन इज गिवन बाई टी एस एच इज इक्वल टू आउटपुट इन वैट डिवाइडेड बाई टू पाई एन इन न्यूटन मीटर वेर एन इज द स्पीड ऑफ रोटेशन नंबर सेवेंटीन स्पीड ऑफ ऑफ डी सी मोटर द इक्वेशन इज गिवन बाई एन इज इक्वल टू ई बी बाई फाइव into 60a by zp here z a and p are constant for a particular machine therefore these quantities are considered as constant k therefore n is equal to k into eb by 5 or n is directly proportional to eb by 5 thus speed is directly proportional to the back emf eb and inversely proportional to the flux 5 if you like this video hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe rough book thank you